Okay, y'all, we are ready to start our strawberries. I washed them yesterday. I hulled them and took the stems off, and I put them in the refrigerator until today. So, as you can see, I have my uh, water bath going with warm water. Oh, not warm water. I'm bringing it to a boil. I'm gonna put my jars in it, which are sitting over here washed and ready to sterilize them and keep them warm till we get everything going. Strawberry jam, it's easy. So what you're gonna need is uh, seven cups of sugar. Yes, seven cups of sugar. You're gonna need five cups of hulled and mashed strawberries. You are gonna need some lemon juice, four tablespoons, and I just use the bottled lemon juice. And some fruit pectin, which I don't have any of that right yet. Um, I am waiting on my grocery order to be delivered, and it should be in that. So I'm just getting everything ready. I've got my jars in the uh, Water bath, a little bit more, seven cups. Can you believe that? Seven cups, oh my goodness. That should be about it. Now, in the meantime, I've got a small saucepan of water, and I'm going to take eight new lids, and I'm putting them in here. They say you don't have to do this anymore. I'm counting, y'all. They say you don't have to do this anymore but I like to warm these on the stove just like we always did. Just makes me feel better and they'll be ready to go on the jars. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure I have five cups of these uh, mashed strawberries and I'm putting them in a pot, a separate pot. I don't think I'm gonna have it, we'll see. That's why you have to recheck it. In my, I was almost two cups shy, and that's what happens when you chop them up and mash them. Uh, you, you can't really judge by the first uh, measuring the whole strawberries. So this is five cups of mashed strawberries, and you want to measure after because uh, you will come up short. Now I'm going to add, I've got this on uh, heat. I'm gonna stir in my pectin. This is a 1.75 ounce or 49 grams of sure gel. And I'm gonna add this whole package. And then I'm just gonna stir it up to make sure this gets dissolved. I prefer a bigger pot than this because when you add the sugar, it's a lot. But my all my canning stuff is outside. <laughs> it's cold. I don't want to go out there. I may have to change to a bigger pot. We'll see when I add the sugar. So I'm just going to stir this and make sure it's all dissolved really good. Got it on medium heat. I got my jars in the hot water in the water bath canner 
And I've got my lids simmering just on a low, just so they'll be warm. I did end up changing pots. I was a little bit scared when I poured the sugar in that it would go over. I'm adding four tablespoons of lemon juice and I'm doing it from a bottle. If you have a lemon, that's great. It would be better, I guess. This is just what I always use. Now I'm gonna bring this up to a bowl. All right, my camera cut off right at a very important part. So I brought it to a boil, if I didn't say that, and I'm gonna add my sugar all at once. You don't wanna add it in slowly, you wanna add it in all at once. And then you're gonna stir. Okay, I've got my sugar in. Uh, when I poured it in, it did come to a boil really fast, but it's calmed down now. And I wanna bring it back to a boil that you can't stir down. So we're gonna wait on that to happen. And then what we'll do, once it's at a boil that you can't stir down, we will uh, time it for one minute and 15 seconds. Okay, as you can see, you see why I needed a bigger pot? It's almost to the top of this one. Uh, this cannot be stirred down. I'm gonna start the timer for one minute, and then I'm, uh, mine, I'm gonna add 15 seconds. So I'm gonna set it for one minute, and I'm gonna let it boil for one minute and 15 seconds. All right, I'm gonna turn it off. And I'm gonna skim the foam off. I found, uh, somebody told me this, I think it was my best friend's niece might have told me this, that the best thing to skim this foam off with is uh, a wooden spoon. And she's right. I can't remember if that's who told me, I can't remember. Anyway. A lot of people like the foam. I'm not crazy about it, so I do try to skim it off. And that's easily done. You don't have to get it all. So I'm gonna continue this, and then I'll get my jars out and we'll start filling them up. Okay, so I've got my jars out, got my funnel, and I'm just gonna dip this into the jars slowly, because it is hot, 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 hot. Oh, I like to leave a little bit of head space, so I put it up to that first little mark on the jars is the way I measure that. I have a little tool that measures that, but I usually just eyeball it. But if you need a cannon, you might want to do that. This is just water bath cannon. This is simple. I'm thankful to be able to do it. Y'all can see that. I'm gonna stop right here and show you how I put the lids on. So I just take a wet paper towel, clean wet paper towel y'all hear noise, it's my water bath. I've got it heat. I had it simmering with the jars in it to sterilize them and get them hot. 
and now I'm bringing it back up to a bowl where we can water bath them. So that's how I do that. I just didn't want to waste your time by um, having to fill up all the jars. I just set them on there. This little tool is really good if you don't have one. It, I used to do it with a fork back in the old days. And this is great. And then I just put my lids on. And again, this is very hot, finger tight. Very hot. All right, so for some reason, I always get, let's see how many, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I actually got 10, because I have one that I'm putting in the refrigerator. I'm gonna let it cool. So, uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 10. I always get 10, I don't know why. But I'm gonna drop these down into the boiling water, put the lid on and uh, let it work its magic for 10 minutes. Then I'll turn the eye off and let it sit for 10 minutes in the canner. So I wanted you to see it boiling before I put the lid on. I'm gonna put the lid on and set my timer for 10 minutes. Okay, y'all, they're sitting, um, they're through with the 10 minutes, they're cool, uh, I don't know if you call it cooling, they're just sitting. Uh, I brought the rack up, it's got about two minutes to go to sit here, and then I'll start putting them on the towel in the dining room to let them cool. So here's what I've got done so far. I've already got my strawberries uh, cut up and mashed, ready for another batch. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for a little while. I think they're beautiful. So y'all wouldn't believe the mess my kitchen's in. While my jars were boiling in the water bath, I washed all my dishes to get them ready for another batch um, and kind of straighten up my kitchen. I cooked bacon biscuits this morning, um, uh, I had groceries delivered. They're still sitting in the floor except for the refrigerator stuff. So I'm going to get busy on this other batch. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope it helped you. And y'all go cook something. Strawberry jam and biscuits will be good.